Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Bob with LSC Digital and today we're going to go over another feature of Acoustic and that is web tracking. So this will allow you to track users in your database based on visits or particular events on your website. So first step is to get the code snippets that we need to add to the website out of Acoustic. So you'll make sure you're in the org you would like to work in, and then you come down here to the settings, choose administration, and then organization settings. Now in your whole list of org settings here, we're going to come down to the bottom one here, the web tracking settings. You're gonna click on that, and you'll see right here, web tracking code. You're just gonna copy all of the text that's in here. And what you'll do with this is you're going to either need to pass this along to your web developer to put on every page of your website. Or if you are your web developer, um, this is where you'll find the code that you need. So on our website right here, for example, I'll show you here our source code. And right up here in the head tag, you're going to see we have two sets of comments. We have the acoustic tracking start and the acoustic tracking end. And you'll see that all of these lines of code here track everything on our page. So this code is, on, is in the head of every single one of our pages on our HR Decision Makers website right here. So jumping back into the acoustic platform, then we have to add our qualified domains. So you would just click the add button, enter your domain name without the www, and click save. And in this case, we've already entered it in. If you have multiple domains or subdomains for your primary, this is where you would add all of those. Once it's added, you will see it right here with these checkboxes. And then once that's all set and you've added the code here to your site, you just come up to any page of your site. You're going to want to copy the link that's up here and our site right here. Now, this warning is okay in our case because we have a secondary tracking element on here for acoustic, which is popping this up for us. But you will notice right here, we have successful web tracking, successful tracking, all of these successful validations are good. So from here, we just hit close. And then from this screen, you can also create custom web tracking events, same process, you click add and you give anything you want, your specific notations here. In our case though, on this page, we're really concerned about people who click this button, because this button is going to be downloading a file. So jumping back into our source code, we're gonna take a look at what this button looks like. So we're going to scroll down to our button, which this is all the code for the button. But what we're really interested in, and this is the information that you would wanna make sure that you pass along to your developer, is this on click, this return ewt.track link. So the elements of this are your file name, in this case, risk software manufacturing, the type, which is a download, and this is the link that we want. So from here, we're going to want to copy the name of our file. And we're gonna jump back into acoustic and we're going to run a quick query to see if anyone in our database has actually downloaded this file. So I've already created a loose structure for this. So we're going to edit the query. And right here, you'll see in this case, we have you know our standard profile, data fields, contact list queries, email behavior, program behavior, web form behavior, and we're more interested in this website behavior. So clicking website behavior brings up this box. 
So you'll see visited web page, visited website, downloaded file, and triggered custom web tracking event. So in our case, we're going to choose this downloaded file. And right here, file name, this is where we will go right in and paste in that new file name. And of course, you can set any time frame that you would like. We're going to click Done, Save and Calculate, Submit. And then we'll check our data job. And we'll see that this file doesn't have any downloads on it just yet. But if you had noticed before, the previous version of this query had 18 file downloads. So it's an easy way to track out and see how many people in your database have downloaded a specific file in this case. Now you could also change that to the has visited web page, and then you would just need to specify the pages that you've been visiting. And that's kind of the brief overview of web tracking. Like I said, it's very useful in determining how far people in your database have gone. So if you send an email and you're really pushing a particular portion of your website or a white paper download or some other type of an asset, the download tracking event is very important for that. And it just allows you to create a better engagement profile for your database. And now, like I said, rough overview of web tracking. See you next time.